Hey Golf Pass, I'm Erica Larkin and I want to help you get a grip on your short game. Literally, a chipping grip tip. This is going to be super simple but so important. So many golfers just assume when it's time to work around the green that they take their normal full swing golf grip when they want to hit a little shot and a lot of golfers have really strong grips which can be a great thing for full swing, but around the green, especially when you're trying to hit these little tight lie chip shots, this can be a real disadvantage. When your lead hand gets turned really much on top of the grip like this, it instigates a lot of hinging that we don't want to hit these simple chip shots. We're trying to keep it simple and take the risks out of the shot. So you're gonna do yourself a favor if you simply neutralize your grip and take more of maybe like a putting grip. But in this case, we're just gonna go with a 10 finger neutral grip where we weaken that top hand so that the label on our glove points more towards the target. Thumbs down, fingers around on both hands. So again, this is strong. We wanna go more neutral to weak like a putting grip. And then that's gonna match up a lot better to keeping our wrist stable while we swing this club back and through real low to the ground. You probably know that shot that you've all done out there where you've given it some wrists and plugged that leading edge in the ground. So we're trying to avoid that. So take the wrists out is really a simple thing, but it can just start with a simple grip change and make a world of difference for you to hit better shots here. So let's give this a try. I'm gonna neutralize that grip. Again, thumbs down, fingers around. Nice narrow stance, keep everything really nice and compact. And then just swing my arms back and through. Okay, ran out really nicely. This is my nine iron, by the way. A lot of times what happens is people take too much loft for a simple chip shot like this, and then that also encourages extra wrist action to make the swing bigger. So by going down to a nine iron, eight iron, seven iron for a shot like this, it really helps minimize the size of the swing that you need to take and therefore reduces the amount of risks that you would otherwise be likely to incorporate in your swing. So neutralize that grip, keep your swing as short as possible. You can pick it clean just like that, right? Nights off the tight lie and you're good to go. So use this grip change to help clean up your short game and you can thank me later. I hope you like this tip. If you want more great instruction and content, head over to Golf Pass. And for those Golf Pass members, if you've got any questions or comments on this tip, leave them down below. I'll get back to you as many as I can.